you see me go up the stairs, well, I used to have to go like this. And then come down like this. But now, I can just, it's open. Ta -da. Ta -da. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well and some of it is absolute sheer craziness but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Morning guys, um, just been setting up the boat, uh, getting ready for the for the big cut. I done a bit of a prep last night and just sort of general sort of scurrying around this morning trying to sort it out. Um, I was going to try and blank off doorways and everything, but I think using my multi-tool and a hoover, I should be able to contain the dust. If it starts getting too dusty in there, I'll stop and I'll seal it all up. Um, to be completely honest with you, I can't find my dust sheet. I've got a roll of dust sheet somewhere and I've got no idea where I'll put it. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and hoover it up and control the dust. If I can't, then I'll have to tear the boat apart to try and find it or go and buy another one. Um all right, so I'm making the, the small incision. It's, it's only actually I thought it was gonna go a lot further. I thought it was a lot closer to the chain plates, which was my concern. I don't want to get too close to them, sort of the, the, the sort of stress point. Um but actually, I see chain plate here, and I'm only, I'm only cutting to here, so I'm only cutting out 700 mil. But that 700 mil will make going up and down here perfect because this is, let me show you, this is like if I'm going straight up there, <laughs> and then it's, it's this little hatch here, so pulling that back. That would just be so perfect. I can run the bar all the way from the top down to the bottom to have the handrails in. Just everything about it is perfect, basically. And when I took the wooden battens off that were on the part I'm cutting off last night, I didn't even realise until I was on the phone a minute ago and I was sort of looking and dreading the, the sort of upcoming job. That it's actually a join. So you see there, hopefully you can see it on camera, there's a join. So this is a separate bit of glass to, to that, um, which is a good thing, I, I think. I don't know if it is or not, but um, yeah. So my plan, I'm gonna try and capture someone on camera. The plan is, obviously I wanna save this panel. I know it's not in the best of condition, but just the shape of it and everything will be perfect to fix back into there. So I'm gonna try and save it. If I can't, I can't, but I'm going to try. What I'm going to do is use my little little multi-tool blade. It's just cut all the way along down there to my line. Cut through the line, back down, and then probably back somewhere around here in front of this grey line. So I've got a nice wedge of material here that I can take outside and work on at a later stage to, to refit. Um, and what I'm going to try and do I know I'm probably highly unlikely to get the whole sheet off it, probably have to get it off in chunks. Is take the top layer off, chisel the core out, if it doesn't just fall out and dust. Um, and once that's all out, then cut the bottom layer. That's the plan. That's how I'm going to try and execute it. Whether it works like that, who knows. Um, but what I'm going to do, initially, I'm going to go for a, quite a soft approach where I'm going to wear my little face mask hoovers going and just sucking up every, every little bit of dust that's creating nice and slow nice and methodical um and like i say if, it's, if you got if it starts getting too dusty in here you know things are going to start getting covered i'm, I'm getting it you know ingested it into my eyes um then i'll stop find that bloody sheet i'll go and buy some more cover the doorways up cover everything up i'll put covers over my, my cupboards there um just cover everything up I'll put a full respirator on, coat, coat Kavex suit, whatever it's called, um, and then just go full full nuclear on it. But, let's try and start the easy way first. So it gives two seconds, I'm going to get some music going, because like I said before, I can't work without music. 
get the hoover going, get the everything going, get a mask on, get some gloves on, and uh, we'll see how we start getting on. Um, so yeah, there'll be some music over the top, and yeah, we'll see, how, see how this rolls out. Hey guys, that's actually really easy. Um, well not easy, but easy dust wise. So I'm not even gonna wear a face mask now. I'm creating no dust with my little uh, reciprocating saw thingy, multi-tool. And any dust it does create, the hoover's sucking it up. So now I'm just gonna hoover and get on with it. Um, so I'll tune back in a minute. Hey guys, so that's the top first slice done. 
all the way across there. I've got to do this big return now, hoping my blade's going to last. Because that's tight. That's just a blade. That's like he's lost all his teeth on the sides now. So I'm hoping I've got a spare one. If not, we're going to the DIY store to cut back along here and do the rest. But just get in there. I'll turn this off so I've got music on.
Hey guys, okay, so I've cut all the way around now. Uh, I've got no idea how this is going to come apart. And just for the just for the love of YouTube, my subscribers, I'll turn the music off, and I'll um, get it on camera. See if I can lift this bloody thing. I can't see it, but ooh, making right cracky noises. With you. I don't really know the best way to take this. This lip's in the way. I might have to get my cutter out again and cut a, a smaller section out just so I can get that attack angle to start getting underneath it. Um, yeah, you know, that might be a thing. If I was thinking if I cut a corner out, allow me to get in at the start. Yeah, so I'm going to be get everything running again. I'm just going to cut a small section out, lift that section off, and that should allow me then to get underneath and get the rest of it up. Um, I might do it now while the camera's running. be a harder job than I anticipated. Alright, I'm not going to film me getting this started 
purely because it's going to be really time consuming. It'll be a 50 minute video on me getting this out. Um, so I'll work out a better attack angle. And once I've got a process in place, I'll tune back in. Hey guys, so me to think I was going to get this sheet up in one or you know a couple of pieces. Absolute dreamer. Uh, it stuck down so well. But one saving grace is once I popped it out, it did come out reasonably easy. Uh, but it's such a thick, look how thick that glass is. Uh, get a bit of ridiculous. It must be nearly eight millimetres thick. Uh, it's gel coats cut in me, it's about, about six, six mil thick of um, fiberglass. That is a, that's a beast. The one saving grace is underneath, I could pretty much cut it with a butter knife. So that's my, my one look forward to once I've got this horrible bit out and knock all the bolster out. The, the bottom half would be an absolute doddle. <sighs> but that seems, that seems like a long way off. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start attacking some small small sections, a bit similar to this. Um, trouble is, obviously I've, I've completely. Oh, can't reach it. The first sort of three sides decimated my blade, um, so I've got another one on my multi tool. But the one on there isn't new. It's the second hand one I had that I used some other jobs. So I'll see how I get on. I mean, sort of this one's still got teeth at the minute, so that should be right for a few cuts. I just want to get, get enough cuts done that I can get a good bit of leverage to get a bar or something in him, lever it up. Um, yeah, I'm not going to film for forever and ever and ever. What I do when I make a bit of progress, when I'm making a bit of, I've got a bit of a, a foothold. I'll, I'll tune back in, but so that one light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that the bottom layer is paper thin, which is good, which is good. All right, I'll tune back in, in a minute. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, so I'm all about the path of least resistance, and by God, there was a lot of resistance trying to separate. So when I cut that section out. Um, I must have spent half an hour, if not more, chipping away, trying to trying to separate this from the balsa. It's, it's on there so well. When I've done repairs on the deck and a bit on the coach roof and stuff, you know, come off reasonably easy. Uh, so I don't know if this has been redone before, or if it's just where the old dodger was, it's sort of been protected from the elements and it's better, or it's just not had any water, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but this seems to be so much stronger than like everything else on the boat. Um, so weight wise, I think I'm going to struggle, but what I've done is I've cut from underneath and just cut the line through there. So I've cut, sorry, I've cut the line at the top to clear the, the void to make, this, make sure there's room. Then I've, from underneath I've cut through. So this is now sort of floating on that line. I think I'm going to have to do that again, all the way round. The trouble is, doing it all the way round, is <laughs> this ain't going to make it going all the way round again. Sort of the tram line there. And the other problem is the weight of this when it comes out, you know, it's going to be a heavy old beast. Um, so, what I may have to do is sort of cut it in half, I think. Sort of like cut through there take it out in two panels so it's a, it's a manageable sort of size and weight um, so what I'm going to do now I'm going to get on with rather than chatting is with the blade that I've got left I'm going to come to about halfway cut a line through down do the tram lines down here and the tram line returns there um, so I can get the core out on that strip which then allow me to cut underneath and drop that panel out. Um, so what? So I don't want it to be a, a, a ten-hour video. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't need you to film it. So I'm going to cut inch there, inch there, and then tram line down here. Chisel it all out. And when I'm getting a little bit closer, and I start making my incisions underneath, 
I'll tune back in so you can watch me um, make a big mess and struggle and see it all go horribly wrong when you get half of this panel out. But um, I'm going to get on with it for now and I'll tune in when I get to that stage. Cheers. Hey guys, so I've used my, my full arsenal. Once I've done that chipping around, because my multi-tool was dead, um, I've used a jigsaw, an old, really knackered wooden blade that's sort of rounded off now, but it's still, it's still hacking through, still getting there. Um, so she's three, three sides down, and this last bit of glass holding it up. So I can't hoover anymore, because I'm running out of hands. Um, <coughs> so I'll, I'll get the camera going, and I'm going to try and capture whilst cutting this big old sheet of glass about it breaking and going everywhere. So, oh, to um, excuse the noise, the jigsaw noise is too much when I play it back later. I'll put some music over the top or something. Yeah, let's do this. positions or manoeuvres I tried to do there, I won't catch in that. But apart from a hole in a bin bag, we're all good. So, that's half of it out. Another half to go. I'm chuck this outside. Go put it in a truck and get rid of it. I'll have a, um, a quick, a quick tidy up um, and get ready for stage two. But I can't do stage two until I've got a new multi tool. So I need to. Oh, I can't do stage two until I get the new multi tool um, blade. So I'm gonna have a quick clean up. Gonna have a quick shower. Get this glass off me. Um, then I'll pop out, do wicks, get some lunch, all that good stuff. And then this afternoon I'll come down and get on with, uh, with stage two. Once stage two is done, we move on to stage three, being moving this bar. Uh, that'd be a nice easy slice off. I'm gonna buy a couple of their multi-tool blades, just so I'm not gonna run short, to do some good hacking. But let's have a quick look here quickly before I tune off. So, where I've sort of cut as close as I could to that shape, it shouldn't be too bad. This shape is a little bit different to that shape, but I can work with that. I can do some, some jiggery pokery. Uh, <coughs> what I might have to do is very carefully, because when it comes to hacking this back, I think it's going to be with an angle grinder. So that will be a potentially making some form of poly, poly tent around here to get on with it, to try and contain the mess. But 
future problem i'm quite happy with the way the way that's come out like that so stay tuned for um for stage two a little bit a little bit later Charles. hey guys let's have a, a lovely lunch at my friend's house it took me about three and a half hours so <laughs> i'm now back and getting on with stuff so i bought these a couple of segment blades for um hacking through stuff but they're obviously made for wood and metal these badgers at wix so tungsten carbide for use on tiles roof tiles and fiberglass six pound fifty mm, maybe seven pound fifty for a pack of five so these hopefully will eat through it like it's going out of fashion so i'm gonna get that fitted i'm gonna try and hack through the uh, the front piece uh we'll see how that gets on and I'll get the camera rolling and uh, we'll see how, if you make short work of it or not. I think they're going to be better than my my things that I got off of um, Amazon. I'm not going to slag them off though because they're here. Ready for cutting the front windows, my shider tools. But we'll see what's better. I'll tune back in in a minute. Job. Hey guys, just a quick tune in. Um, so the main bar pretty much fill out where it's out there now that's a bit i'm going to put back in so I, I sort of cleaned it all up and i was trying to get it i was gently trying to take it out because although i've done my maths and my geometry and my full mental capacity thinking about it i was still that little bit is the boat going to sort of fold in half when i take that bar out um so i've been very 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 careful and then it went whoop and just went um and it, well the boat hasn't folded in half so happy days but it's one of the moments i've done it for like taking walls out of a house you know you put you put the rsjs or the catnick beams in you know sort of structural repair and you take that wall out but you always got that is it going to be strong enough have i done it right have i missed something but we're good we're good so this is the last bit to come out now i've cut all the way down I'm just doing from underneath because this bar's in the way. I'm just trimming up to there now. I've had to change the blade. I'm getting through these faster than the shit at all things, whatever they are. So I'm going to trim just down to here and then I'll get back up top and run along up to, I think I've already got to about here. And then this is paneled out. And then I'm not doing nothing else today. Um, I'm literally having a, having a clean up. And then it'll be an assessment tomorrow on bonding in that front part again. Uh, start grinding back all this, getting it in a line where I can start building and making it, making it nice. But it's quite hard to tell, it's quite hard to show you with a camera. Hang on, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. So you see me go up the stairs. I used to have to go like this, and then come down like this. Now, I can just, it's open. Da -da. Got a nice hand right here going all the way up. Yes, yes, it's amazing. Um, they just make the boat so much more airy and nice. You know, I haven't got windows in there yet, and I haven't cut the windows at the front. The side windows are in, they're covered, so not in no light in. But when, when I've got clear glass there, or acrylic there, and this, ah, oh, game changer. Absolute game changer. So chuffed I've done it. So, 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 so chuffed. Um, obviously this is just the start though, cutting it out is the easy bit. But, yeah, so I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna finish, you can see underneath there I've cut so far. So I'm going to finish that last sort of 15 inches. I'm not going to film me doing that purely because I'd be conscious that I'm on camera and I'm trying to, I'll be trying to balance it with, a, with my toe and my tongue whilst cutting. Um, it's probably going to end up me getting a black eye and blood everywhere. But so I'm not going to film that and I'll tune back in when it's out. All right, speak to you in a minute. Hey guys. Just had a big, big hoovering session. Um, obviously, the boat's not immaculate because it's going to be ongoing for forever. Um, but 
This is amazing. So amazing. I can't. I don't know if I can capture it on camera just how how huge it looks like this. And when I've got windows, when that's done, and I've got windows up there, and oh, oh, it's amazing. This is obviously getting the Dodger on was a was a great feeling. Um, getting this this roof cut out now, it's just it's just immense. It's just completely. Oh look, I'm just going upstairs without squatting. Just going upstairs without sort of bending myself three ways. Just, just walk up. Ah, oh. oh. maze balls. Is there anything I can really say? Absolutely maze balls. So tomorrow I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have a shower in a minute and then a, a celebratory beer. And then tomorrow um, I look at getting all this scrub back, ground back, scrub back, grind back these sides. Um, that's going to be pretty messy and cutting the actual sections out. Um, and then start the glassing process. I look at mating up the, the front edge back into here. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's it for now. I'll leave you. I'll leave you in my massive big open plan boat. So now I can look at. Well, I need to finish doing the galley, which I'm doing in a minute anyway. I'm painting in the in the what's going to be the girls' room. Getting their top coat on there, and I think with this out, I can start. I've not even really thought about it. A little bit I thought about it, but now I can really start thinking about building the sort of the sofa and the table set up how I want it. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get get my pen and paper out, make some drawings, make some make some measurements. And work out the sort of rough dimensions what would work um, to get this place hot to trot. So another view from out here. Well, see, it doesn't really lend itself at the minute because there's no windows there, and it just looks like you're looking at a big sheet of fiberglass. But when when we're windowed up and the covers were off of there and everything. This will be amazing, absolutely amazing. But ah, I'm going to stop getting too excited before I have an accident, and I'll uh, I'm going to go and have a shower, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.